Hey everybody, I hope y'all are all doing good. It's not raining here today, but it is still humid, hot, and we really can't do anything outside. It is too mushy. So I've been putting, putting this off for several days because I've got so many empties, but I kind of put them in order this time. So I thought we would start off with some skincare items type of things that I've I've tried and and to let you know what I thought of them as well and not only that I've tried out a few samples um, I didn't keep all of them but the ones that I found that I really really enjoyed I thought that I'd share them with you so maybe you might like to try them too so here we go okay and my hair is gonna drive me nuts because I can see myself in it yeah whatever <laughs> Sarah V I know a lot of people have heard of Sarah V but this one is the moisturizing cream, and it's for normal to dry skin. Now, it, this has taken me, it's 16 ounces, by the way. This has taken me over, well, almost two years to use this up. I really like it. It's unscented, and it doesn't have a lot of, it says with ceramides and hyaluronic acid. Of course, I don't use it on my face during the day or anything unless I'm not wearing makeup. But if, in the winter time, I use this when I have really, really dry skin, and I love it. It's not scented. It's just one of those really deep moisturizing conditioners. I use it on my face and on my body, and it still took me that long to use it. Just a little bit goes a long way. So, CeraVe, excellent. And yes, I will definitely repurchase this at some point. Another thing, you all know I love image products. Love, love, love. And this one is just no exception. It is the Image, the Max Stem Cell Facial Cleanser. This was just a joy to use, and I was so sad to see it go. I really was. Um, I think this is more of a spa product. It was a gift to me from my cousin, and um, I thoroughly enjoyed using it. Image is just a really good brand as far as I'm concerned. Now this one, the Spa, Body Spa Cellulite Firming Body Cream. I like it. I do. I like it. And I love the smell. I love the smell of all Image products. It just have that real pretty sm spa smell. And uh, it, this was really nice. It really was. And if you get your hands on it, try it definitely. But this one, now this one doesn't smell as pretty. But I will tell you what, this Nerium Firming Body Contour Cream, I this is just one of, I think I've gone through four now. Um, I use these day and night, and I love them. I use them when I very, very first got out of the shower when my skin's still, still really damp. And then at night, um, I'll use it all over in the morning, but the, at night, I just use it on you know my tr trouble spots, which really are everywhere except maybe my ankles. <laughs> In my in my wrists, but no, I use them on my upper arms, on my decollete, um, all over my body, uh, uh, down to about my thighs, and then I go to bed. And I cannot tell you enough how much I love this. Like I said, I've gone through about f four of these. Well, I know I've gone through more than four, but this since my last empties, I've gone through about four of these, and uh, it's it's not a lot. It's six point seven fluid ounces, but I can really tell a difference using this so yeah and I've got about three more and I'm gonna be really really sad when those are gone because they are they are pricey but it's worth every dime as far as I'm concerned and this one is another I did find these on Amazon and it's a stival I'm not real sure how to pronounce those um, this is I enjoyed this. It goes together. It's the facial cleansing gel and then a gentle skin polish. So you use the gel first. I would do this every morning. I'd use the gel first and then I'd polish my skin with this, which is basically an exfoliator, but it's a really, really mild exfoliator and I love it. And I can tell that I haven't been using it because my skin, I had to go to a different exfoliator um, because I didn't exfoliate every morning. I was, I was when I had this. But then I was just washing my face, you know, like I would normally do. And then I discovered, ooh, it likes the exfoliation every morning. So, uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed these products. And if you can get your hands on them, highly recommend you try them out. This is probably my favorite 
second favorite moisturizer for nighttime. And as you know, I've been using the Nerium Nighttime Moisturizer, but then I will put this over top because the Nighttime Moisturizer um, for, from Nerium, I just feel like I need a little bit more something something, if you know what I mean. So I've been, I'll use the Algenist on top, which is probably overkill. Now, sometimes I didn't, sometimes I did, but I really do love the Algenis products. Algenis is probably one of my favorite moisturizers that I've ever used. And they're pricey too, but they're worth it. And I, I would definitely repurchase it. The Timeless, I think everybody's probably seen this, the Timeless 20% um, E, C plus E plus Furulic Acid Serum. I've used all this up. It went bad on me before I used it all up. That's the first time I bought. This is my third bottle. It's the first time I wasn't able to use it all up. So, um, yeah. Uh, will I repurchase it? I haven't. It's, I don't know. Because I just, you know, it's a serum. And I think there's a lot of other serums out there that I want to try. They aren't going to go bad so easily. What can I say? This is by Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem science i love this it's a hundred it's a thousand roses floral toner extra gentle for delicate and dry skin sensitive and it is gluten-free non-gmo it's it's got all the good stuff or doesn't have all the bad stuff i should say um vegan cruelty free this is my go-to toner now i have been trying very hard to just if i purchase something i try to purchase only cruelty free and um, I've been doing pretty good. I mean, there's been a couple of times that I just had had to, you know, do something else. But um, I highly recommend this, whether you're cruelty-free or not. Now, what I do, instead of using this sprayer, because when you use this sprayer, it like, it sprays you, okay? So what I like to do, and I like to use a cotton ball to apply my toner anyway. And so I just put it in a little container like this. I just pour it in. It has one of the little, and then I'll put it on a cotton round and apply my, my toner that way and I really do like it and I think it's definitely worth it. I get this through Vitacost and uh, I'll have a link below if you want to use it. Love that Vitacost. <laughs> Another thing that I have been using and I will continue to use and it's something very simple but it's the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt and this one is in the Eucalyptus and Spearmint, the relaxing one. I'm not um, a real big uh, of the uh, lavender. Uh, I'm not real crazy about lavender. This one I love and it just, it is so soothing to get in the tub and just get in there and soak for a while with this. You just can't beat it. It's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Here's another one of the Dr. Teals. Now I didn't, I didn't like this one quite as much as I did the other one, but it has lavender in it and that's why. Because I'm just not a lavender, you know, I just, I don't care for lavender that much. But uh, this was nice, and it and it was, it was a good soaker. But like I said, I like the other Dr. Tills better. The eucalyptus one, mm, I love it. Whew, that's a lot. Now, there are a few, now this is, well, this is a, not really a sample. This is more of a travel size or a luxury sample. Um, this is the Colleen Rothschild uh sheer renewal cream this is one ounce two point something ounces it's not three ounces it is like crazy expensive i can't even remember how much it was to be honest it was insane i know that um i like it it's a okay moisturizer for the daytime um i've got a bunch of samples of these and as long as I can get the samples or whatever these are, travel sizes or whatever, I think they're wonderful and I really enjoy them. But would I pay that much for it? No way. No, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that great of a product. The Chanel Le Lift Anti Wrinkle Serum, Firming and Anti Wrinkle Serum. This was really really nice. But I will say it was highly fragranced and I wasn't real crazy about that. I felt like I don't like to put a whole lot of fragrance on my face. Um, I did go through this L L Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Repair Serum, 
and honestly, I wasn't crazy about it. I like the Laura Mercier uh, that you, uh, the primer, but I wasn't crazy about that at all. And then I tried the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. And if I have a wrinkle or a um, large pore, which I do, this made them show up so much more. So no, I wouldn't recommend this. If you've got aging skin, I, I really wouldn't. The NARS, sorry, I wouldn't do it. I got a couple more samples here that I wanted to show you that I tried. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge. And I really did like that, but it's not, not cruelty free, so I wouldn't use it again. And the It Confidence in a Cream, loved it. Thought it was great. Thought it was wonderful. Definitely would repurchase it if I needed it, but I don't right now. So that is all of my, I hope, all of my skincare, whatever empties. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll get on to my other empties here in another video.